Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. I also have some self-study courses about manifesting your specific person. So if you're interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about something that is not talked about very much in the manifesting community. However, it is something that is very, very common, more common than you think. And that is when you have been manifesting your desire for a while and you start seeing movement in the 3D, or maybe when you actually get your manifestation, you may notice that you start to spiral again. You may notice that your fears, your doubts, your insecurities come to the surface again. And you're wondering why this is happening, why you're risking sabotaging your own manifestation now that it's here or now that you're seeing movement towards it. So I want to give you the explanation of this very, very common phenomenon and explain to you why it happens and what you can do about it. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So as I just said in my intro, this is something that not many people talk about in the manifesting community. However, it's an experience that is incredibly, incredibly common. And it tends to happen much more when it comes to manifestations that you've had some resistance to, manifestations that you have a background story about, manifestations that might have had circumstances about them that you overcame and you're now seeing movement, or maybe you're seeing your full manifestation. And so this is an experience that a lot of people have had where they start to see movement or they start getting their manifestation, or maybe they're getting their full manifestation, and all of a sudden they feel like their mind is messing everything up. All their fears come back to the surface, all their doubts are coming back to the surface, all their insecurities, they start spiraling, they start questioning things, they fall completely off track from the wishful field, and so on. So obviously, this is a very unpleasant experience, and for most people, it's very unsettling. And then, of course, people start wondering, what is wrong with me? Why is my mind doing that? Why is my mind sabotaging me? I was doing so well. I was in the state of the wishful field. I even started seeing movement, or I even got my manifestation, and now I'm ruining everything thing, with my thinking, with falling off track, and so on. And so I'm here today to tell you that this is actually a very natural function of your human mind. And this is what some people call the ego death, because essentially it's coming from your ego. Your ego, as we've said in other videos, is very, very afraid of change. It's very, very afraid of the unknown. So when something unknown comes into your reality, even if that is a desirable change, even if that's something that you've been manifesting even for a long time and you've been wanting and you've been working on your inner state and your inner energy to bring it into your life, your ego is bound to try and destroy it. And the reason it does that is because it perceives that as protection from the unknown, protection from going into something unknown, something that is uncertain, something that you're not familiar with, something that you're not used to, and so on. For example, let's say you're manifesting a specific person and you were in the state of the wishful field, you sustained it, and now you're seeing movement in the right direction, or maybe your specific person was rejecting you before and now they're coming in hot and they're communicating with you and they're telling you everything that you've been hoping to hear, and all of a sudden you're overwhelmed by this fear of losing them again. All of a sudden you're having doubts about whether they will stay, whether they will leave again, whether they will abandon you again, reject you again, whether the old story is going to play out again, and so on. And all of that, you guys, is truly your ego reacting to the change and reacting to this new unknown situation that has now manifested into your life. So it's very, very normal. It's nothing to worry about in the sense that you don't have to panic about it. You don't have to panic that you're sabotaging everything. However, it is something that you need to pay attention to and it is something that you need to work through because it is true, if you give in to these fears, these doubts, these insecurities too much, yes, you are running the risk of going back to the old story. And even though, as we know, anything can be turned around, obviously, this is not something you want. Obviously, if you've been working for a while on a manifestation and now you're seeing it coming in or now you're seeing movement in the right direction, 
Obviously, you want the movement to continue in the right direction. You don't want to go back to where you were before. So while this ego rebellion, let's call it, is very, very normal, it's very natural, and especially if you had a lot of backstory or a lot of resistance to your manifestation, it's almost expected that it's going to happen. You still have to find ways to transcend it. You still have to find ways to work around it. And you still have to find ways to stay in your wishful field and balance your state and balance your nervous system. So then what are the steps for you to overcome that ego rebellion, let's call it? The first step, which is a very, very important step, is to actually know what is happening to you, which is what I've been explaining in this video. If you know and if you are aware of what is causing those reactions in you, what, what is causing these new thoughts, these new fears, these new doubts and insecurities, then you have made the first step in your self-awareness and in knowing what's happening to you. And automatically, this means that what's happening to you doesn't seem so scary anymore. And it helps you not to panic as much and to instead be more reasonable and rational about it and actually deal with it and tackle it. The second step, after you know what's happening to you, is to try your best to calm yourself down. And I've made other videos about balancing your nervous system. I've made other videos about stopping anxiety and fears and doubts, so I would recommend that you refer back to those. But your best bet is to actually do your best, do whatever you can to calm yourself down and to bring yourself into a more stable, more stabilized baseline state. So you want to start reassuring yourself that everything is okay, everything is as it's supposed to be, everything is going great, and that you can expect it to continue in the same direction. The third thing that helps very much is if you can detach a little bit from your desire and remind yourself that you are the operant power in your reality. Remind yourself that what you're seeing in your manifestation is not separate from you, it actually came from you. That movement you're seeing, that manifestation that you got, it came from you, you created it, and so equally you're able to sustain it. It's not something that came separately from you, it's not something that came outside from you, it came from you, and so essentially you want to reason with yourself that there is no reason to panic or worry or doubt you can go back to your state of the wish fulfilled, you can go back to your desired state, you can stabilize your nervous system because you know that ultimately you are in control and you're always in control despite of what your ego mind might be telling you in these moments, you're always in control, you always have been in control, you are in control now and you will always continue to be in control. So ultimately you can take some deep breaths and realize that there's nothing to fear and there's nothing to worry about because you are in control, you're in the driver's seat. And the last thing, of course, once you've stabilized your nervous system, once you're feeling better, once you've realized that you're still the operant power, you're still in control, you're still in the driver's seat with all of this, get back to your state of the wish fulfilled. Start telling yourself the stories that you want to experience. Start revisiting the experience of having your desire, having more movement or maintaining, sustaining your manifestation. Start thinking about the future in a positively expectant way, expecting good things, expecting blessings to come into your life, expecting the manifestation to come in if you're just seeing movement or to be sustained if you've gotten your manifestation. And ultimately, you want to train yourself to stay indifferent to those little rebellions coming from your ego mind. You want to learn to recognize them you want to learn to know what they are and where they're, where they're coming from so that you can gently put them aside and continue in your state of the wish fulfilled and in your calm and confident state and in your state of knowing that you are the operant power and no one else. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.